Hello, my name is Brian Riz, and I'm a cloud architect here at CenturyLink. And today I'm going to be covering how to turn your Windows 2012 server into a desktop. So this is basically going to take advantage of what's called desktop experience, or a lot of people call it uh, Windows theming. So I'll basically walk you through the steps. When you first start up your server, I have a 2012 server here. As you can see, it starts up with Server Manager. If it's not started, you can actually go in and select the icon that will kick off Server Manager. You'll actually go down, and it's actually a feature. So we're going to go ahead and step through this Add Roles and Feature. We'll drop down to Features. And in Features, you drop down to User Interface and Infrastructure and it's second one down called desktop experience it says it's going to go ahead and include the management tools of uh, applicable so we're going to go ahead and add the feature I'm going to hit next and then I will install so a lot of people want to take advantage of desktops in the cloud and unless you have a specialized environment um, you know it's very difficult just due to the fact of the Microsoft licensing so here we could take a again 2012 2008 whatever it is um, operating system and server operating system have a very nominal charge for that and actually provide the service as if it was a desktop went ahead and hit close after it was complete I'm gonna go ahead and restart my system so at this point we've rebooted the system waiting for a server manager to come up close server manager and here we'll go to personalize I'm gonna actually drop in and go on the internet and get more themes and <coughs> I like the uh, escape I'll download this this theme At this point, if you looked in the background, kind of did a quick flash. This Flint theme is now identified in my control panel, appearance and personalization, and personalization. So now I've set my desktop to be very similar to, or my server to be more similar to a desktop theme and uh, you can go through and allow the look and feel of a desktop for users so in summary what we've done is we've gone ahead and created the Windows theming or desktop experience in Windows 2012 server I hope that this was helpful again that's Brian Reyes with CenturyLink look us up at www.centralinkcloud.com Push the like if you uh, thought this was useful and helpful. Thank you.